G'day, welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming. And uh, let's play series here on Fenton Forest Farm, the four times version by Stevie. So, good news and bad news. The map has been released, then he pulled it back, and he's going to upload it again tonight, my time, uh, which is Saturday the 10th. Um, by the time you're seeing this, it would hopefully have been released. There's been a couple of other little things that were picked up. Apparently, there's a floating decal over near the sheep. Um, a couple other little things and some problems with it sometimes showing up with the decals not being liked too much but per I haven't found that problem myself but um, but hey that's okay all right anyway good news is it's going to be there for you very very soon and you can all enjoy this wonderful map so uh, but we're going to continue setting up as you can see we've got a lot of our equipment down here now all our combines are sitting over there under that shed We've got a whole pile of our tractors over there. There's mainly a Zerion 5000s over there. We've got some Actions and Arion class over here in that shed behind the two trucks. We've got some plows. We've got some cultivators. We've got some trailers. We've got a couple of balers. Uh, and we just need to start stuffing things in the sheds and storing them away. We also have over here uh, a wheel loader and a telehandler. We have our two fertilizer sprayers, we have our two big M's, and we have a couple of big um, headers for our seed hawks. So the seed hawks still also need to be filled up with fertilizer and seed, and that's something we have to do. There's a big one of our big seed hawks there. And we have a big squadro windrower. And that's probably about all we need at the moment. In particular, all we need is our cultivators and our plows, and we just need to start getting the ground turned over ready to start laying seed so uh, that is exactly what we are going to do now so we're going to grab a couple of our zeros we're going to take them off into the fields and we're going to get them started now as we've said before we are going to be using um course play with a big map like this we we need to have the things of use of like course play uh, just to make it that little bit easier to manage so certainly that's what we plan on doing so i'm going to grab this lovely green 5000 zero on here and we're going to grab one of our plows and we're going to go head off and get him to start working on one of the fields. Now, as you know from what we have did with the flyover video um, and also in the initial video, the part one of this series, um, we have a very big map. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll bring it up. In fact, I'll go to the PDA map here. So as you can see, and we are going to do an actual proper review and, and showcase the map at some point most likely but this area here is basically the boundary of the old map okay so where my cursor is going around there so the borders of the port 8 1 the southern edge of 2 3 and 5 and the eastern edge of 5 and 16 and then the top of this forestry ridge here where the railway line goes across that was the size of Fenton Forest okay so now we have all this extra space all around us now for this series at the moment we're starting off with a couple of fields so we've got fields 1 2 8 25 22 and 23 so we've got a combination of a couple of the smaller fields with from the original farm plus a couple of the bigger bigger fields as well now also with field 23 as much as we like all our grass and there is plenty of grass around the fields to mow we are most likely going to either extend this field out at some point and and plow around or we may even combine these two fields here or indeed field 25 and 22 at some stage later on that's that's the whole plan but whether that happens soon don't know anyway I'm not going to worry about that too much but anyway so as you can see the map is now a lot bigger than what it used to be so before it took the longest and biggest field we had was pretty much 15 um, that took a little while to manage but nowhere near as long as what it takes to do some of these bigger fields here that's what we're going to use course play. All right. So what we're going to do, uh, we are going to scoot this guy over and get him started on a course. Now, at the moment, I am using keyboard. I apologize. I haven't got the um, steering wheel out because I am still working on the WA map. Um, we've done some changes on the WA map and uh, my steering wheel is away at the moment. But anyway, 
that's all good we won't make excuses we're just going to get straight into it so as you can see all these fields have been reset and that's all part of seasons obviously but they are all in the state where they need to be plowed fertilized and everything else so what we're going to do is we've got a fast plow here we're just going to set this guy up we're going to very quickly set up a course so we're going to go course generation field 25 we wanted to do uh headlands we're going to get to do five headlands don't have to worry about that not doing multiple tools that's all well and good generate field course and waiting 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 there we go back course is set back up a little bit we just want to make sure that we've got everything set right uh, vehicle convoy don't have to worry about all right that should be fine so we're going to go to first waypoint drive course he's going to unfold the plow as you can see there and then he's going to head on out and have a look at the course so for those of you that aren't aware we course play um, we can show you the course that's the course and all the waypoints that have been set so that's basically where he's going to follow off hopefully and uh, and get all that done without any problems like all things sometimes you will get some problems with it um, and this is uh, no different sometimes you do get a uh, a different um, result as in it'll want to spear into the trees and all that sort of stuff so you do have to sort of keep an eye on it you can't just leave it to run 100 percent of the time on its own um, otherwise you will find you'll get problems and crashes and all that sort of stuff particularly when you're running multiple equipment on, on the one field as well okay so just be aware of that all right so we're going to go, tab across we're going to grab one of our other tractors we're going to grab this one here we're going to go over and grab one of our other plows and we're going to plow up the other big field which is nearby the reason why i'm going to get started on those is that's going to take the longest to seed and all that sort of stuff so if we get those ones underway nice and quick then um, we're putting ourselves in the best situation ready to proceed now obviously we're going to be learning seasons as we're going along uh, this is the first map where i've actually played seasons properly i've had seasons installed had a bit of a play fast forwarded through to have a look and see how things actually look with seasons um, as you would have seen with the uh, seasons preview for this map um, and while we enjoy that there's a lot of changes in relation to the management of seasons so uh, we haven't really read a lot into that um, we know there's differences with the animals and all that sort of stuff and obviously we know about the crop rotation uh, so we're going to be learning seasons as we go um, now feel free if you have any advice or any tips of something i may have missed or what, which i always miss something um, then just give us a shout out let us know and uh, and we'll endeavor to fix that as soon as we can all right, so we're going to get going on this course, this uh, field here, this course. Field 22, again, we're going to do around headlands. We'll do five headlands again, just because it's a nice number. Multiple tools, no. And that's basically it. We're going to generate the course. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time with these bigger courses to, or bigger fields, I mean, to uh, to work out the course. That's okay. We have the time. All right. So nothing else should need to be done there. We're in the right mode. We're in, and we're going to go uh, first waypoint, drive course. Again, he's going to fold out the plow, and then he'll be off and running as well. So the other guy, he should be well and truly up the other end of the field now. In fact, we can have a look on the mini map. So there he is he's already done the southern the north south leg so he's about to turn and head west so that's all good and here we go we're gonna head off in as well all right so we'll just check the mini map and make sure that it is uh plowing up all right and there we go we've got the uh the plowed and cultivated oh sorry plowed color uh, coming through and the same through here for uh this guy here on 22. So that's all well and good all right next I think next what we might do is we might start sorting out some of these trailers uh, and putting some stuff away while those guys are off doing some uh, some plowing and then what we might do is we might actually grab one of the cultivators and just cultivate one of these fields nearby and uh, and get that working but do that manually so we will be doing some manual work um, particularly around the farm but uh, a lot of the big work and the boring work 
for the bigger fields will be done by course play. So I'll be using hired hands effectively to come in and do all that. All right, grab some of these trailers. We're just gonna move these out of the way somewhere. Now, you will have noticed, obviously, we've put new sheds over in here. So these sheds over here are new. Um, those ones where the Xerons are. So we added those in. Uh, but uh, we need to find some storage places for all the rest of the stuff. We can't just leave it all lying around that one area. Um, it's not going to be any good for us there. So we have got a shed there we can utilize, which I didn't realize. Um, so I think for the moment what we'll do is we'll, we'll come over, and I think I've actually started, I did, I started using uh, the grass over here as a bit of a storage area in, in the meantime. Um, in fact, I did leave the seed hawks over here, so that's what I was doing with that with that uh, class there. So that's what we might do. We might go grab the last seed hawk, and we'll bring that over, and then uh, that's all them out of the way. And then we can continue moving all those uh, tipper trailers and all that sort of stuff out of the way as well. All right, so I really do hope you're going to enjoy this map. Um, I know um, the guys that have been testing it have, have loved it. I know a lot of people that have already downloaded the first launched version of the map um, have already said how much they like the map. Uh, and we're, we've received a lot of good feedback and comments in relation to what people think the map's going to be like from the uh, flyover and the seasons preview for this map. And... Um, that's good to see. Really, really good to see. So uh, I'm hoping everyone grasps this map and really uses it because it is a, a fantastic effort. So um, we'll certainly be uh, doing our best to continue promoting it and using it just because of the fact that uh, since we've started playing Farming Simulator, some of our most favoured maps uh, unashamedly have been from Stevie. So um, that includes Beaver Creek, Sherwood Forest, uh, among among Fenton Forest and others, so um, yeah, we'll continue to play those. Not a problem in the world. All right, now as I start turning a bit hard there, just gonna put this tipper in this shed here. I think for now, so it's out of the way. And as you know, the setting up is probably the hardest thing and the most laborious thing to do at times. Um, I must say I'm a bit lucky. I have a tool that will be released very very soon and in fact hopefully this week on the mod hub it should be released um, i have been privileged again to be testing this particular tool and i have also done a video for that and i'm really looking forward to everyone getting their hands on that as well it is a fantastic tool it really is and that's all i'm going to say about it i know it's teasers but um i am sure you will all appreciate uh, what this tool will actually bring you in relation to the game so i can't say much more but uh, rest assured as soon as it's available you'll know about it because i'll be uh well i'll be on the mod, mod hub for a start and uh and also uh we'll be having a launch video on it as well as a video that actually goes with the mod in mod hub so uh looking forward to that <clears throat> and obviously i won't be showing that off as best I can possibly manage while I'm actually playing. Um, I won't be pulling that up and using it. I'll have to uh, turn off the recording and do what I need to do if I need to. All right, now I'm gonna try and flick this one in here so they're sharing the one bait. I should be able to do that, one would think. Oh, bit of paint, bit of paint. It's all right, don't need a trailer. They were brand new. It's all right, didn't see that. It's all good. There they are. All right. Continue on. So we've got some horse uh, seeders there. I will actually go through the list of what's in the garage at the moment as well. So as we can uh, we can see all the equipment that we have got. Um, and don't worry, I'm not going to keep all that money that's in the bank account currently. That's just to make sure we set everything up to where we want it to be. And then uh, we will reset down to reasonable value. Uh, of money for us to be holding. All right. I think these plows, we might just, we only got a couple of these plows, so I might just put these in here for the moment so they're out of the way again. Now, 
I do like to start off with a tidy farm, but I can guarantee you by the time I get halfway through the series, or if even a couple of episodes into the series, it won't be tidy. I'll just leave stuff everywhere. So, uh, anyway. All right, let's check on our two hired hands and see what they're doing. Going through the save. And there we go. So, this guy here, he's on his second run round. He's doing his north-south track now. And this guy here, he's on his south to north track on field 22. So they are seemingly working grand. So that's very good. One of the other things too, I have noticed with course play over the last couple of updates, I can't remember exactly which update it came into, um, but there is now a little GUI at the bottom. As you can see at the bottom on the screen now, it says uh, no course loaded, for instance. Um, that is from, from uh, course play. Now, the other good thing that it actually does show is it actually gives you a approximated time of how long it's going to take you to complete that job. So for instance, you could be in a combine harvester and you're setting it all up and you're getting them all started and, and send him off. And then uh, course player will say, you're going to be doing that for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, generally, it is pretty close as I let that trailer just wander away. Um, but it is a very good good uh, a, a good indicator to you exactly how long it's going to take you to do those, those fields. The one thing I haven't quantified actually is whether if you have uh, if you have multiple tools or, or equipment on one map, whether it takes that into consideration as well. So uh, we'll have to check on that. Right, these guys here, the Lemkins, I'm just going to put these straight back in this shed here out of the way for now, next to the Big M's. There's one. And the other one over here. This one might be, I don't think we'll just reverse, try and reverse him into that store. We'll drive around and reverse him in so we've got a bit better angle. Like so. But yeah, so I hope everyone is well. I mean, uh, you will know that I've been away, or for those of you that are um, been a part of the channel for a while, it will know that I've been away. I've been uh, absent for a while, um, and that's by no necessarily a choice of my own. Uh, although I must admit, farming Simulator 19 has been a bit stale for me. Um, there is a, a video coming out. Yes, it is a rant video, ladies and gentlemen, um, in relation to the state of the game for Farming Simulator 19. Um, and that's not the reason I, I haven't been playing because of a rant or anything else. It's just um, I haven't had the interest uh, with with Farming Simulator 19 in its plain form. There hasn't been a lot of great maps. Um, the equipment hasn't been fantastic. I mean, first DLC, first two DLCs were very disappointing, really, to be honest, from Giants. Um, the next one is not disappointing at all, so kudos to Giants for that one, or the, the Platinum Pack. Um, although it is disappointing to some others. But no, no more John Deere. We're getting class, so suck it up, fellas. Anyway, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't send me a hate mail. Actually, no, you can suck it up because there's no John Deere. Um, yeah, um, before before you come at pitchforks, so I'd better change tact. Yeah, so I mean, it hasn't been the sort of game that I've been that interested in, and uh, my my real life has been very very hectic. Uh, work has become an absolute chore. Um, huge unrealistic timeframes and demands for for a huge project we're working on, um, and uh, and the role I was given. Um, puts me under a significant amount of pressure and stress each week. So uh, I come home and the last thing I really feel like doing is doing something that's nice and calming like this. I end up going to the Division 2 and end up shooting shit. Um, so, um, yeah, but anyway. Or in the case of playing with JJ, I end up just healing JJ. But uh, and it's okay, that's just an ongoing joke. But, um, yeah, so we have been away for a little bit. And, and of course, my wife has been quite ill as well. Uh, and in fact, the last three weeks, she's had a bad case of pneumonia and along with her uh, her uh, other condition, her sarcoidosis, um, it's been a very, very tough time uh, for her and, and indeed for the whole family, um, constantly passing out with no notice uh, and, and a whole pile of things like that. So I really haven't wanted or, or been around, like once if she's awake, I haven't been really on the computer. I've basically been close, close at hand to her. Uh, to ensure that she doesn't fall and hurt herself or, or hurt anyone else or anything, for instance. Once she goes to bed, that's a little bit different. Once she's in bed, she can't really uh, do too much damage to herself other than sleep. So, um, 
and by that time I um, haven't really got the energy to do any recording and stuff like that so anyway that's that's it I mean that's that's real life I mean family and real life comes before everything else um, that's just the reality of it especially when you uh, when you have responsibilities as a father of three young kids with a mortgage and everything else um, unfortunately this YouTube channel doesn't pay anywhere near um, a small component of any of our bills let alone enough to be sustainable to live on so uh, that's that's what has to give uh, that's just the way it is but anyway we're back now um, we're going to get stuck into Fenton Forest and, and Western Australia and a few other things as well and uh, we'll just continue on so I certainly do appreciate all of those of you that have stuck by over the last couple of months when I haven't been busy doing anything and uh, and I also appreciate those new subscribers that have come on the last couple of days as well um, as a result of the the Stevie promotions and stuff like that and I do hope you'll uh, you'll stay with us as well and become part of our our little family and speaking of our little family don't forget if you are watching the video um, to like that video um, likes are nice just gives me an idea if, if I'm going down the right way with content or whatever else uh, if you don't like it that's okay press the dislike button I'm not going to feel any less I'm not going to lose any sleep over it um, but uh, it gives me an indication of whether there's something wrong with the video or whatever else and I don't mind that um, I'm a realist so uh, I won't I won't cry though I won't lose any sleep so if you're doing it to try and get at me um, you might as well go and waste time somewhere else because it won't work and of course also if you're a new person to the video to the videos on and the channel um, and you're not already a subscriber um, I'd appreciate if you would consider subscribing and if you do make sure you press that alarm notification icon so as you are made aware of when new videos and live streams and that are scheduled and coming out um, and of course don't forget to check out my good friends uh, Eustace Farmer who's now Atomic what is it Atomic 67 Gaming or something like that and some weird hippie thing that he's changed to now he's moved to Las Vegas I think he's lost the plot but anyway we won't say that publicly will we um <laughs> go check out check out Eustace um he puts out a video once every five years so uh, he should be due for one pretty soon uh you check out my mate grizzly bear sims uh, he's taking a bit of a uh, hiatus as well at the moment uh he is doing some uh, blogs and flight sims type stuff uh but go check him out and also my other good friend uh, frithgar now unfortunately frithgar is a member of the uh, united kingdom brigade uh, we won't really hold that against him too much well not until after the ashes have been won by the aussies and in which case we will then pull the proverbial mickey out of him but uh but frith is a good bloke he's got his channel going and some great content over there and he's also very very close to 100,000 subs so if you're not already subscriber to his channel go over and take a look you'll enjoy his stuff um and uh, and sub to his channel see if we can get him to 100,000 subs that'd be great well, that'd be great but uh yeah he truly is a nice bloke and uh and some well, well, that wasn't very good. So that's what happens when I say nice things about Frithgar. Um, and and to be perfectly honest, nice, honest, decent people in this game, as in YouTubing and that, uh, are few and far between. Unfortunately, they're not not everyone is as they make out to be. But anyway, we won't get into that. All right, so that's most of our gear put away now. So I'm thinking we're pretty pretty schmicko there. I think what we might do now is we might grab one of the other. Uh, tractors and head on over and just do some plowing now we could take one of the classes but i'm not going to do that i'm going to take one of the smaller classes we are going to take one of the zerions uh, i can't travel in anything but a zerion but uh, we'll take zerion and one of these bednars over there we won't be plowing it i know um, but that's okay we don't have to plow it first time through uh, well in fact actually let's have a look well i'll just have a look at the field state i'm not sure but i don't think i have to plow them straight up now let's have a quick look uh, what I'm planning on doing is doing field two initially um, so no it does need to be plowed so we won't use the bed now we'll actually go and get one of the the John Deere uh, plows yes unfortunately I'm using John Deere plows it's just the fact they're useful and good and quick so um, don't hold that against me you won't see any other John Deere stuff here though I can assure you well maybe although it can be bought off I can be bought off <laughs> let me put it that way substantial and and and, and uh, influential donations to patreon may well uh, be cause for me to uh, 
play with John Deere. Um, I'm not going to put a figure out there, but uh, if if you wish to see John Deere and we have have me eat my words a little bit and playing John Deere, um, then that's the way to do it. Yes, I, I will take monetary bribes, influence, but that's all I'll take for that. But anyway, so here, if if you do, it has to be has to be more than just a basic little. Uh, it has to be more than let's let's say. Well, actually, no, I will put a figure on it because um, it has to be worthwhile. So I will say is it has to be more than twenty dollars, and then I would use at least one piece of JD kit. kit. So for every every twenty dollars I get in in relation to those sort of payments, then that's what we'll do. There you go. I've put it out there. I'm for sale. <clears throat> My loyalty is for sale, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't, I don't imagine I'll get anyone, but uh, but anyway, who knows? Who knows? Stranger things have happened, but anyway. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this on cruise control, and we're just going to come down here. Like I said, we uh, we haven't got the steering wheel, so it's going to be some very quick and erratic steering at times. But uh, we'll get this plowed. As you can see, our other guy is over there. He's finishing off. What is it? Field twenty-two or twenty-five? Uh, we're well not finishing off, but he's probably on about his fourth fourth run around now, I think. One, two, yeah, it'd be about his fourth. Um, so he's probably got one more run in, then he'll be doing north-south runs. And our other guy is continuing on over on field, what's that one? Can't, can't remember the field numbers yet. So field 25, and the other guy's on field 22. So uh, he'll be... Uh, coming down through there somewhere in a minute while we pick up the plow return and we'll continue on but we are really really looking forward to playing this map uh, over the over the northern side where all the forestry is that is a wonderful little area as well very hilly there's a couple of uh, fields there I think they normally start off with grass. Um, very, very challenging for a low uh, horsepower tractor and equipment. Um, but uh, And be aware of the big field over there. What is it? 42, I think it is. Um, some gear might get a little bit stuck uh, with some of the rises and falls. Uh, so depending on what gear you're using. So just be aware. One good thing about Stevie is... Uh, while most of these fields around here look pretty flat, there's a lot of them that actually aren't, and uh, it's it's quite a surprise in some areas. Like there's actually a field over across the river here, directly where we're looking, and it's actually got quite a uh, unassuming mound uh, in the southern end of the field, and it actually took me by surprise the other day when I was actually going over there the first time. And uh, yeah, it's it's very nice to see. So you've got a, a good variation in terrain variation in in the shape of the fields and all that sort of stuff so um that's uh that's where we're at anyway we uh we're going to finish up here we're going to finish off this uh this field off camera so uh once we've done that we will uh leave it there and we'll come back to you in the next episode where we continue on with our fenton forest let's play and until next time we'll see you again very very soon so take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Fenton Forest. This is Duck Zorley. See you all later. Bye.